Okay, looking at MED, which is Medifast here on May 6, 20. Um, this is a stock that manufactures and distributes weight and disease management products and other health and diet products. I like the sector, and I used to like this stock a couple of years ago when it skyrocketed from 40 to 240. It was a 6x, 600% return if you could have caught that. Um, and then since then, it's had a big sell-off. A lot of the institutions have been getting out of this over the last year and a half. Um, so it, it's, uh, it doesn't look so healthy. Um, none, nonetheless, it's showing some constructive action here. I don't like to buy it. It's really early, but it's above its 10-week moving average, the red line, and it's just hitting its 40-week moving average, which is the black line. But notice how every time it gets to that black line, it kind of sells off. So that's been resistance for it. Um, it's also got a weak relative strength rating. It's in the bottom half of all stocks. And, um, and it's got a low composite rating, which is taking all of the numbers and putting them into one number. Um, I like to have 85 or 90 being that composite rating. So I don't love that. Uh, that being said, it's got really good uh, earnings per share rating. Um, the group is okay. It's 67%. It, it could be higher. I don't love the group, but you know, maybe it may be pulling out of this mess. Um, the accumulation distributions average. In other words, there's a lot of selling going on, but there's a little bit of buying going on. The sponsorship rating is E. Um, that's like a failing grade which basically means the institutions have gotten out of it and the good ones are out of it. Um, but the, some things that I do like are this 35% earnings per share growth rate over the last three years. That's pretty constructive. And I love this return on equity, 68%. So overall, you know, they don't have any debt either. The stock really got hammered here, I think in 19 and 20 when it didn't have any growth and that's why everybody started selling it off. So, and then the CEO resigned here in, in March. So. Um, I think it's early to buy it. It's a buy and hold type of thing, but there's a lot of better places to put your money that's not going to be dead money. I think best, the best chance is it's not going to break out or break up. I think what's going to happen is it's going to sit here and go between this 100 and maybe 80, 170, back and forth until it makes a good base, and then it'll break out. So I think we're a little bit early here, and that's what I think about MED.